Hello everyone, welcome to um, another video where we are going to be modeling something here in SolidWorks. Uh, last time we uh, were here, we worked on this. Uh, here's the our pulley. Um, so there's going to be a few adjustments we have to make to it at some point, uh, but we're actually going to be... Um, right now actually adding something I forgot and we're going to be adding an axis uh, an axi to, to the middle here you select the two plane axi and put it on the front plane and right plane and I'll go right in the middle but there's an issue with this um, pulley right now that I don't know if anyone really noticed um, it is of course the middle the middle is flush we take out our evaluation measurement tool, we select the two faces, we find that they are parallel, meaning they're flat on each other, which means this thing will be scraping across this here. So in order to fix that, we actually have to go into our side profile here and get our revolve sketch. We're going to edit that. We're actually going to um, change the distance of these two lines to probably let's add 0.2 to the mix now we have an issue there um, being that these two are um, both coincident I'm going to disable though that there and these two yeah disable their collinear existence essentially uh, these two are, I think, are not symmetric. These two are not symmetric. Control is easy. We're actually going to make these guys symmetric. Um, just by simply doing that. And we're actually going to be putting another dimension on these two lines here. To be 0 0.5. Now, I think 0 0.2 might be too much. Adding a 0 0.7. I'm going to go 0 0.6, actually. That looks a lot better, I think. Um, and there you go. So now the when it goes on to its uh, the base, the base stand uh, where this will go on, this here will not be scraping. The sides will not be scraping against it. Um, actually, also wanted to increase the number of holes. Uh, I'm going to increase it to seven, just because I think seven is a good number. Actually, I want to see what eight looks like. Maybe make it even. It might be too crowded in my opinion. Nah, it looks fine. In my opinion, less plastic is better. Um, but these are going to be... If I play my cards right, these shouldn't be hard because it won't put a... Uh, when we print it, it's not going to put a, a support here. We'll not put a support there. Um, so next, um, what we really should be doing here is actually going to be making a new part. We go here new. Uh, we're gonna make a new part, and this part is actually going to be the pin. So if we open up this guy again, let's go back to our original pulley here. We can see that our internal diameter is half inch. So there's two things we could do for clearance. We could either <coughs> make the in, the the pin. Obviously, has to be left less than half inch for it to roll. Um, if I remember correctly, we're gonna have to go like 4.5 or like not 4.5, but 0.45 if we're gonna make it uh, work work like really well. Um, I don't really seen this is gonna be seen um, completely off camera, but I just pulled out a caliper and I'm gonna kind of visualize. So if that's I'm thinking. I'm, if this is, of course, uh, half inch, one quarter, or not one quarter, 0.4 inches um, would be probably the right amount. Of course, we can probably go four and a half, uh, 4 and 4.45 instead, um, just to probably make it a little more on that stuff. But when we go to make an assembly, it will be a little more obvious. So the pin is going to be um, 
interconnected into the center uh, of the thing as such as if we open it up here we go yeah make sure when you open it up you get yeah no don't don't yeah you yeah, rebuild it rebuild it I don't care I really don't care anymore um, as I've said before this is the first issue uh, we solved in the beginning of the video you see that this right here this bracket here brushes against uh, the actual inner wheel here, the actual wheel here. That's we want only this part to be rushing against it. On the original model, we were supposed to have a extra pin, a side pin here that we would stick into here to make this thing connect it. Now, um, what I'm planning on doing is making it so you can actually stick a um, a aftermarket, and not really aftermarket, but like. Uh, you could go to the store and go buy a bolt or something to fit in there. Now, that's the one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is actually um, doing it this way and then making that separate part, basically a disc with a pin on it. Um, I think we'll go that route just so we can actually make this thing work. So I'm going to not save this. Actually, we're going to keep it open for I'm going to keep this open for reference. Um, so make our pin. Uh, we make the pin instead of the frame. I know it's kind of kind of um, annoying, but we're gonna have to do it anyway. My opinion. That's how we're gonna do it. Um, do it the same way we did last time. The other other things, and we're gonna make those coincident there. Uh, because it's a very simple simple part, we really don't need to um, really do much other than just doing this. Okay, and we go merge these two together, merge them, and that should be a complete shape, correct? Okay, yeah, we can boss extrude. So I'm wondering why it uh, should be gray, I think, right? Or does that only happen when it's fully defined? I'm trying to remember. Anyway, go back to editing it. All right. Uh, because this, this thing, uh, this pin doesn't have to really need to go under we can I was going to say we could simply just do that but I think it's a little better if we just do um, make this symmetric so it's a little easier to manipulate the size of that I mean what we could do actually actually to make their lives a little easier is we could make those collinear and then just put a measurement between this line and that line let's do point two. Um, this might, yeah, we'll be, we'll make it a solid pin for now. What we'll, if we have to put a hole, we'll put a hole. Um, so collinear that as well. Um, we don't need that. That doesn't have to matter. No, well, we'll put that one back in. Um, but we won't put it that the normal stuff. So we want a diameter of 0.4. As we've already established, 0 0.4 will be the actual distance. Um, this will actually do the same thing, but it will be less than an inch, but it will be 0 0.5. Uh, let's actually go to 0 0.55 um, for now. Yeah, maybe 0 0.75? 0.75 looks nice. That's 3 quarters of an inch. Um, the actual length is going to be quite short. I'll have to look at how long it is, but I think we're gonna put 0.5. We'll put it, that. We'll start off for that, and we'll go back into the wheel to see how long we have to make it. So this thing, we have to take into account two things. First of all, um, the tolerances between the pin and the uh, actual frame itself, because there needs to be a gap between the pin and this to accommodate that. But now we get ourselves a good idea. This is 0.6. So all we have to do is make this. Uh, we'll do for the sake of future proofing this 6.5 actually. Eh, kind of future proofing it, but not really. 
Um, we don't have to measure, we need to now revolve it around that axis, and there we go. So there's our pin. Now I'm going to go put an axis in here before we forget. Two plane, uh, we want a front plane and right plane, axis. Um, and now we can probably make an assembly with this, but we're not going to go do that. It's a little bit, a little bit too far in my opinion. Um, so we're going to rebuild this thing and save it in here. This will be called pulley pin. Okay, and it's called pulley pin. Now I'm going to go and make another uh, new part. I don't know if I want to make a whole new video on this, but this is where things get a little more fun. Uh, this is the point where I really don't know how to do this. Circles are kind of easy when you get the hang of it, but this is a kind of a rectangle. This thing is the point where you have to seriously visualize what you're trying to make. This isn't just a, okay, mathematically it will work and could exist. This thing is a whole another thing. So let's say how big the wheel is. The wheel itself, if we go into our sketch, let's actually just show the sketch, actually just show it. Um, well, actually, no, I don't want to show it. I just want to see it. Just want to see it. So it's two and a half inches in diameter. So the height of this thing is going to have to be a lot more than that. Um, but before we even begin, we're probably going to do this, this, and this. Now this is just going to be the basic setup. I'll probably next video actually complete this part. And then I think we can also, um, at that point, make a new um, and then actually assemble it next video probably uh, we'll make it five inches for now that's a little long in my opinion um, but could probably shorten that actually so let's see five inches is quite long okay so actually gonna make this thing about three inches make it three inches by one inch all right, and I'll make this thing one and a half just to be on the safe side. We will, in fact, get to see um, what it looks like. A nice rectangle, but like a square or a rectangle, almost equal, so it's be half the size. Um, so there's two methods we could do. We have to, ha we actually have to do this in a manner of um, speaking of this, right? I actually have a part here that I can actually rep show and represent what we're trying to make. This part was our second attempt, I want to say. It's this pulley base part, this thing. First of all, if you'll notice how thin the walls are, this thing in real life is like really thin. It's almost like a pair of tweezers, uh, just because they actually are. Um, this thing is probably not the greatest failure but it's a pretty bad uh, it's a good example of poor planning and poor design and you don't have um, a caliper on you you know you don't you don't realize how small it is these walls here are as far are as thin as my printer will will feel comfortable with of uh, being 0.3 inches thick now how this thing is drawn out is I think is it pretty disgusting? It's actually pretty darn, pretty darn. Uh, it's pretty darn good. Um, except here we have a mirror. Now I don't want. Now what I'm saying about that is, what we could have done is just put it in the middle plane. You know, there's a bunch of problems with this. We mirrored it again here. Um, which we don't have to do. We just draw it a different way. And of course you have the sketch here, sketch here, sketch here. All this stuff could have been done on the planes rather than on the uh, other things. I think we could have done on the planes. I don't know. I'll have to find out. Um, but I, we won't get to the actual full on the base right now. Instead I'm going to go save that. And we're going to actually go extrude it. We're going to extrude it. Um, I'm actually going to extrude, I'm actually not going to extrude it too much, we're actually going to extrude it 
0.1 inches because that's a good start. Uh, we might make it 0.5 if we're really being, if I'm being honest, I might make it 0.5. Hold and save. Um, we're going to call this, simply just call this pulley base. And we're all going to print these parts out all, all at all once. Um, so we're going to have to work on this. I'll probably, I will plan it, but not actually not do it. I'm actually going to plan it, but not actually do it off camera. I'm going to plan it out in my head. Um, as I'm saying, I need to th I'm theorizing how to do this. What we might actually put right now, just, just because we can, is I want to go to the t front, to the top plane, top plane. And I want to sketch on the top plane. I'm going to put the holes in right now. So we got our center lines. Um, by the way, these center lines um, can represent horizontal and vertical. Um, but they're going the exact opposite direction. This is vertical, but it will never determine how. Uh, it won't determine the z-axis really ever. Um, and it's the x-axis, uh, but it doesn't determine how far it is, and, and I'll demonstrate that right now. Um, let's say a two-circle, right, or just a circle. If you dimension this to this, it's going to be um, determining the x-axis, right? If I go, if I want this thing to be half inch from the, just put it there, right? It's gonna be here. And if I wanted it to change its height, we would select the one that represents the, uh, the z-axis, right? This one will actually modify the z-axis even though it's on the x-axis. Wanted it to be half inch there too, right? But this is not the point of that right now. Instead, we're actually just gonna be saying these to our not fixed. No, fixed is a one you shouldn't ever do, or at least rarely should do. I don't know when I ever would use it, but I want to go coincident, not fixed. And I want this guy to be not no, not the face. This to the line. Coincident. These two can now become uh, concentric. No, not concentric. That's not what I wanted. I wanted them to be equal. Now they're equal sized and I also want their points. I think we can do this. Keep selecting the face. It's a tiny point, a tiny line, symmetric. So it'll be symmetric. So essentially all we have to do now is we can move them wherever we want. And I actually want to make this here. Uh, we're actually going to make it a quarter inch hole. We'll start out with quarter inch. Uh, diameter holes, um, and we're going to have to make these points here. Uh, what does that look like? That looks like an inch, almost an inch. What if we just said one inch? Yeah, we'll put them at one inch for now, and we'll figure it out later. So now what we can do is we can then cut. Put a cut. Um, we actually want to go up to next flipping the cut around and then putting them in there. So this is where we'll start out. Um, we'll start this and then next episode we'll pick up again building the rest of it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you next time.